Mm. On the ward in the morning, I'm always very chirpy and, you know, people think, oh, crack, she's here again, you know, happy as can be. When you're in hospital, it's not the best place to be all the time and they're always wanting to go home, but if you can make it a very pleasant experience, then, you know, they're going to recommend you because a lot of the friends have said, oh, I think I've got to go in Babington and it's like, oh, you'll be fine, I've had a great time, you know, and that's what you want and that's the kind of feedback we do get. The rapport between us is quite incredible because you know that you're going to get the best out of them as well. I so much enjoy that side of it, you know, the caring and making sure that they look spick and span when you've done and, you know, you can really see a difference as well when they get ready for going home. You know, they come in quite poorly and then within, you know, a week or so, they're a different person. We have training on the ward, we have mentorship, we have reflective practice with other nurses. And we just voice where we think things could be better, where we think we're faulting on something, you know. And then we all pull together so that everybody's singing from the same hymn sheet. To be actually there holding the hand and talking to them, you know, when it's sort of getting towards the end, I think is a, an absolute privilege. It's very difficult to part with them. That's not the way it should be. We just want them to have a safe discharge and enjoy the life again. The rewards from this job have been immense. You know, I, I go home now and I, I know that I've done a good job. I do like swimming every day swim, sauna, anything for a bit of relaxation. I think time for that sort of thing is very important.